some of these wires I might end up reusing. treated my um, my punctured foot treated, I treated my punctured foot with well first I ran water through the wound um, and then I went up to the house and asked for a first aid kit but uh, they didn't have you know I mean they, they had some stuff so they gave me whatever they had, which was hydrogen peroxide and charcoal, and a band-aid. And so I pretty much just washed it with hydrogen peroxide and uh, sprinkled some charcoal over it. And it doesn't hurt uh, that much, just a slight pinch. Um, so I decided to uh, sweep up the floor here, take care of all of the um, stuff that fell off. Demolition. I'm hoping to not have any any more accidents here. This thing is a bit heavy for me to carry. Um, accidents have a way of messing up your mojo. You have, to, you have to find a way to get yourself back in rhythm. Hands I come. I'm trying to tell myself, yo man, you can do this. One step at a time, I guess. progress so far. Cutting the uh, sections above the roof actually works pretty well. I'm sorry for that. Now that green thing that looks like a baffle probably for um, air circulation within the roof so that the moisture from the house, from the camper, mixes with the air from outside or has a place to vent. And that way it doesn't condensate up on the, on the roof, on the, uh, on the ceiling. 
And you could tell there was no condensation there. Um, no moisture symptoms present whatsoever. Guess I'll have to remove this guard first. And then see how I can, uh, I can access. What I really want to do is I want to take a sawzall and just go all the way. Continue to remove that uh, tr trim and uh, edge piece that travels the length of the trailer. Oh. Once I get that removed, I can cut. <laughs> I can cut this piece of uh, cut this piece right up there that way. And then I could pry it. Once I pry it, it should just come out easy. And then pry the rest. And then I'll be left with the studs. I'll be left to deal with the studs.
This is a good shot of the way this camper is framed. So, two by twos, or something like that, could be one and a half by one and an eighth. Um, but this is what I mentioned some time ago, my earlier video. These plates, they have these plates on pretty much all the studs. And they hold the stud to the, uh, to the bottom uh, floor joist. That stud's missing it. That one's missing it. This one has it. Actually, does it? Does it have it? Yes, it does. Let me go further down. Oh, this is a good one. You can actually see this metal plating. It's stapled multiple times. Three, one, two, three, to the stud. Three times to the stud, and down here, one, two, I'm sure there's two more underneath that. This is how RV roofs leak. Wow. If you could see, this joint is completely apart. There's like stuff growing in there. There's, a, there's literally a plant growing right there. Huh. Just like Ron said, they should carry this roof material over. And they just don't do that. Wow, look at that. Got a, I got a green roof. wonder if that's edible. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna taste it. I never know what trail of vegetation tastes like. <laughs> Trying to figure out easier ways of tearing apart this camper. Um, now that I know how the joints are attached, I think I could come up with an effective way. Um, and uh, I'm really trying to minimize the time I spend on demolishing it. So, being uh, I've spent the last. Um, hour or so on top of the roof and so I've got a good scenario of what the roof looks like and how the uh, uh, framing attaches to each other so if you can get a top view of the roof it looks something like this so this is the top view of the roof and what you have is um, four by eight, four by eight sheets of uh, OSB, and I believe it's quarter inch. And you've got multiple that are butted to each other, and that's what makes up the roof. Underneath that, you've got. Uh, two by two framing. So let's see here. I'll give you a top view. Uh, sorry, I'll give you a a front, a front view. Um, so you've got the uh, ceiling joists that are going like that, and then this is sort of a, a cross section of the front view, front view uh, cross section. And then you've got 
your curved surface, which is going to be your quarter inch plywood or OSB. And then, so, so this is a joist. And then you've got other bracings here that hold this thing up. So this is a, a, a front view. And then if I could draw, this is a front view of the ceiling, uh, ceiling of the roof. A uh, bunch of brackets there. Now if I could do a front view, actually let me do a side view. Learn how to spell. So the side view is like this. Here's a trailer. And uh, you've got your wheels right here. And that's your tongue. Um, for this, we have just studs going like that for the most part. And then this is not drawn to scale, but who cares? Right now I'm just trying to figure out a way I could slice this thing in order to remove what I want to remove is this whole wall without hardly any effort. Um, now that I know how it's braced. You've got those aluminum platings down here. Let me use a different color for that. You've got... Uh, this pen is dry got those platings that are holding each stud to the floor joist. And you have none at the top. So what I'm thinking is if I could take my circular saw and slice slice so this is a top view sort of the quarter inch sheets of OSB right there but if I could draw the studs as well or the ceiling joists I'd draw them something like this so these are the joists that run across the camper What I should do is I should shade these a little bit just so they can be separated. No, these are joists. And I know they go all the way from this end to that end. So, what I'm thinking, I'm going to use a red, no, let's use a different color. I'm thinking of, oh, this is the one that didn't work. Put that away. Uh, green. <clears throat> Green's a nice one. I'm thinking of taking my circular saw and slicing right here. Slice this area and then slice this area. That way... What I'm doing essentially is slicing this regions right here. Once those are sliced, this wall is not going to be braced at all on the top. That means the only bracing will be down here at the bottom. If I could take my persuader and knock these out, I think the whole wall should come apart easy. Now, that's just in theory. 
when I draw it down, that's what it looks like it would be. But obviously there's wires and cables and all kinds of other stuff to deal with. We shall see. I am going to attempt this right now. Thank you.